and said, you know, you sure like to feel miserable, yeah. <laughs> don't you? And um, it just is, you know, it's what you have always done all those times, you know, feeling miserable. Yes. It's all it knows. But I knew in the past a, a sign that I could tell that I was getting, or my brain was getting depressed was when I started to get critical with other people, or my brain started to get critical with other people. That was a sign, like a red flag. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what the brain loves to do, it like, like, loves to judge, criticize, so it can feel better or different, can set itself apart from yes. everyone else, from life, whatever. Yes. And that's a real a big red flag. However, it, I wouldn't get it in the past, it just would, it, the flag would go up and I would see it, but then I would, you know, I would let it go. And there I was in the midst of it. Um, then you just lost, lost consciousness and you're just part of this cause. So how are things different now? Then back then, then I can catch it so more. How are you catching it? Um, Catching it. Well, I think I can pause, you know, before I just let it pull me in. I can pause and take a, a moment and say, oh, okay. So you're putting distance. See? Mm -hmm. You put more distance between you and the thinker. Mm -hmm. In the past, the thinker was right here, mm -hmm. right on your shoulders, uh -huh. right between your shoulders, mm -hmm. right here. So when the red flag went up, mm -hmm. it it bit on it. Mm -hmm. It took a big bite out of it, out of it, and the and the pattern just raced ahead. Yeah. Okay, so now there's a difference. There's a distance between you and the thinking now. So the red flag can go up. Mm -hmm. And there's time. Mm -hmm. There's a time mm -hmm. element before mm -hmm. the pattern starts to go fast forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is what needs to be happening. You, you're becoming firmer as you. Mm -hmm. There's distance between you and the thinker now. Mm -hmm. So it's not in as much control. Mm -hmm. as it used to be. So the more you're doing what you need to do, mm -hmm. the more that you're here centered living mm -hmm. your life, mm -hmm. the more distance you're putting between you and these thought patterns. Uh -huh. And it will be easier for you to see them, to mm -hmm. catch them before they manifest, before mm -hmm. they go haywire. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was one thing that came up now is, you know, yesterday I spent some time with my good friend Cheryl and she told me a little bit about her sister and, you know, she was telling our sister's problems and, and uh, well, Cheryl likes to go into details and um, the brain came up and said she is a bit gossiping about her sister <laughs> that was the brain saying and um, do you want to buy into that or not and I said well I just want to listen you know because it's easy to start getting in there and, but I kind of looked at it as a you know it's kind of a don't take it so, I mean, take it light, you know, she, she had to tell me that and I think it's good and I kind of took it jovial, uh -huh. without, you know, it's kind of, it's really cool what you're telling me, <laughs> instead of getting, you know, absorbed or, you know, or finding a solution or whatever. It's different. It's different. And, um, well, Cheryl, she likes to talk about things like that. And uh, I don't want to 
the judgment on her because then you know that's the brain again. But you know, it, there's kind of this oh, just watch out for it. Don't get pulled into when that is happening. Well, <coughs> you may find her change. Mm -hmm. The way that she talks with you too. Mm -hmm. when, when you're there mm -hmm. and you're not buying into her gossip, uh -huh. you may find her somehow changing her conversation. Yeah. We didn't talk about that, you know, all the time. Actually, we talked about she's going to go to Europe on a trip, and I was really happy for her. And, mm -hmm. and we just enjoyed to be at the beach. We went a couple times into the water and and that's, I think that's really what friendship is about, is to share what's, what life is bringing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just such a special day that the ocean was so calm, it was so warm, it was, it was just magical and uh, we both savored it. And I think that's, you know, that's how what friendship is, that you share an experience and you enjoy yourself. And uh, you know, in the past, I always thought a friend needs to be there so I can either be taken care of or I can spill my guts out and, and all that. It doesn't need to be that way. Why not just enjoy what life is giving you together? So you're becoming a whole apple. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked I about remember that. half apples and whole apples? Right. Being sufficient yourself being, you know, you don't need anyone else, you're sufficient with yourself. Yeah, so we were talking about it in relationships with men and women, mm -hmm. the same thing with friends. Mm -hmm. If you're a whole apple, mm -hmm. then it's you that's there mm -hmm. with the person, mm -hmm. and you're giving that person the opportunity to be a whole apple mm -hmm. them, themselves. Mm -hmm. So that there's two whole apples relating to each other, mm -hmm. and it's much different from two half apples that feel that they need the other person somehow to complete themselves. Yeah. So you had a whole apple experience. Mm -hmm. That was great. And it's a whole lot different. It's just it's fulfilling and it's fun and um, it's complete balanced, you know, all the good things. Well, there's nothing better than being a whole apple. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs>